You're watching Strategic News International. I'm Amitabh Revi. We're coming to you from Amritsar and it's the historic inauguration of the Kartarpur Corridor and we're joined by a wealth, literally, of Indian, uh, of Indian origin people from Canada, from UK, from the US. So if I can come to you first, uh, how important is this? This was a decades-long wish for the Sikh community worldwide, not just in India. How big a moment is the opening of the Kartarpur Corridor? It is not only big for Sikh community. Absolutely. It is, it is very big for the Pakistan-India relationship because Guru Nanak should and is a catalyst of peace. And if this doesn't make bring peace to this unfortunate land where we have not seen a peace since the day we became independent, then no one can. Because Guru Nanak, all his life, dedicated his life, for people to look beyond religion for a better life. And this is a right time that we're celebrating the 550th anniversary of Guru Nanak Dev Ji. And we dedicate his life, his work, to the peace, peace between two communities which lived for centuries together. And unfortunately, after the 1947 division, they never saw peace. Now, this is a golden opportunity. We should seize it and we should make sure that we bring peace to the land which deserve to have a peace. Golden opportunity in the town of the Golden Temple itself. Uh, how important is it to you personally? What's happening here in terms of your past? Bo born in a Sikh family, we yeah. talk about this topic all my life. Yeah. Uh, my parents, they're no longer here. Uh, they always thought Kartarpur uh, should be on our side. Uh, it just it took 70 years, but, but finally we're going to see uh, Dharwar Sahib. And I feel lucky, I feel fortunate I'm going to be part of this, uh, part of this, uh, uh, for this uh, unit. We're going to go there. And looking around, looking upstairs in the lobby, hundreds of these people look at the smile on their face. They're all excited. We are all excited. We are looking forward for December 9th. And I am glad that the Indian government, uh, the provincial government, they're doing this stuff and I'm proud of it. Well, Sahib, again, for you personally, this is a very significant moment apart from the communities both in India, Pakistan and worldwide, of course. Yes, of course. We are celebrating the 550th birthday of Guru Nanak Sahib Ji. And, uh, if I go back 50 years ago, I was in a high school and I had an opportunity to go to Sultanpur Sahib to celebrate uh, the 500th anniversary of Guru Nanak Sahib. People across uh, the world, not only the Sikhs, but uh, they may belong to any religions. They are so happy, they're feeling relieved, especially when it comes to the uh, Indo-Canadian relationship, as my friend said. People are, you know, uh, they're really looking forward that uh, indo pak relationship should strengthen uh, like Canada and USA. So people should be able to go cross the borders and uh, share uh, their views, their culture, their language and uh, especially the trade. Both countries should benefit and this is just a beginning. This is just a beginning mm -hmm. Mr. Singh. Now realistically though, do you see this inauguration just in isolation? in terms of what's happening between India and Pakistan? No. Uh, An aberration? Be, being, uh, you know, uh, in the White House, in the State Department, in the Pentagon, so I know the vibes, what's going on. And this is being watched and monitored. And the world, like as uh, the Canadians, as the Britishers, uh, um, are also looking at it. It is... Uh, start of an era and they are really monitoring even uh, the recent uh, um, turmoil in Pakistan that was uh, being caused by this Maulanas and all uh, is being monitored that it should not in any way jeopardize this opening because that is really and then there are other extremist elements of different kinds which my fellow you know uh, which are also trying to, you know, because uh, their shop runs on division, on this acrimony, 
uh, between the two countries. Hmm. So to patch up, we have to close those as well as go ahead with the global community to reach so opening this. a door in one sense but closing doors for extremist it, elements uh, india has expressed its worries and concerns especially for the first jatha with such a, a high level delegation of prime minister ex prime minister chief ministers going there are worries that india has if either government <coughs> i'm not worried about india government i'm worried about pakistan government if they allow this historic occasion to be hijacked by extremism, extremist, they will lose a great opportunity. The opportunity of this guru, who gave us a faith based on interfaith teaching, he brought the teaching of every faith into one holy Granth Sahib as a mark of respect to every faith, everyone, every individual. So this prophet dedicated his life in uniting mankind, regardless of race, color, religion, and everything. So, and he was born in Pakistan. This is a great tribute, a country where a prophet, great prophet was born, who enlightened people throughout the world. And you just have to look at the success of Sikh community. It is not their diet, or it is not their uh, attire. It is the philosophy they inherited from birth. That's made them the best among the rest. In every field, they have excelled. Because of the teaching are given to us that we are one. As a human race, we have won. And I appeal to everybody who listened to this program, Guru Nanak's birthday <coughs> should be celebrated and a landmark achievement for the mankind who is suffering. People in Pakistan, people in India are suffering who do not have a voice. We are comfortable. Some of us live in abroad, uh, even more comfortable. But there are people living in this country. They cannot afford yet another war mm. and to take the economy back to that 10 years, 20 years again. They want bread. They don't want bomb. So mm. therefore, the leaders of both the country, I appeal to them, let's give respect to Guru Nanak Dev. Let's live up to his ideal, what he stood for, and we should not deviate from his teaching at all if we are to take advantage of what he gave to the world. That is the idealistic word or the idealistic way it should be actually. But do you see that realistically, Mr. Bal, in terms of where India and Pakistan are currently in every other sphere? There is no talk <coughs> at all between the two countries, leaders, because India's position is no talks until terror stops. This is the only golden opportunity for, for India-Pakistan uh, let's, cooperation. Let's take it positively. <laughs> we all know that there is a special interest groups, especially in our neighboring country. They, they, they never want uh, uh, the friendship between two countries and uh, we, we know their interest mm -hmm. and uh, uh, that's why Pakistan is suffering in the hands of uh, those people and even uh, Prime Minister of Canada, Imran Khan, he admitted lately that yes, of course, there are people that kind, but let's take it positively one day at a time. And let's hope that this positive step from the both sides, I'll give a credit to both both governments, not only to Pakistan. Sure. If Pakistan was willing to open the corridor and if government of India said no, there was, there was no reality. Correct. And uh, let's hope and uh, think positively that there be new relationship in the future for two countries. Sir, so, yeah, but again, I want to stress on the fact that whether it's the first Jatha, whether it's uh, Guru Nanak Sahib <coughs> birthday, uh, uh, anniversary celebrations, 550th, and that period, maybe nothing goes wrong. But there are lots of people who say that there are ulterior motives behind what Pakistan is doing in the larger mm -hmm. picture, in the in larger framework of time. Uh, absolutely. I've been talking to a number of people. The number of people have a genuine concerns. Uh, as Mr. Wal said, uh, the number of people they have a different motive, uh, number of uh, extremists. Uh, they would never want peace, in, uh, not, for the, not for the sake of India, but the same thing for them. They always have something uh, to gain, something from, uh, from these things. Uh, uh, this is the real fear to many of us that uh, <coughs> um, 
it's the golden opportunity. I'm, I'm really hoping, I'm really praying uh, we should avail it. We, we, um, again, you cannot say, um, you, it has to be, you have to collab with the both sides, not with one hand. And I'm really hoping, um, Pakistan especially, um, they have a clean heart, uh, they should avail this chance. India and Pakistan, I can understand uh, groups there. But this has also gone global in mm -hmm. a sense. Like if I even go to Canada, mm -hmm. where India is actually very unhappy with the Trudeau government because mm -hmm. of the perception that uh, for his votes, he is pandering to, mm -hmm. say, Khalistani mm -hmm. uh, supporters. Mm -hmm. uh, you're, of course, <laughs> the opposition there, so you would probably even agree with that. But it is being the reverberations of India, Pakistan are being seen in the diaspora, and not only in the diaspora, in the politics of major developed countries. Y yes, uh, is, is the fact, uh, if you've seen what the, the premier, we call chief minister in, in India, yeah. uh, uh, Punjab have spoken many times. And of course, I'm in Ottawa, I'm, we see it too. There are, uh, we should stay out of Indian politics and there are many of our people, many of our colleagues, you can see the pondering to, the, to that side. Uh, even some of the liberal uh, MPs has said openly, uh, Mr. Sangha from Brampton Centre, he, he made his statement a number of times that his own party is hunting for the, for the Sikh votes. Uh, and it shows, uh, and especially in Brampton riding, there are five out of five, they won those ridings. I, thought I would like to sure. add one. <clears throat> First of all, the Sikhs, who are going against the teaching of their gurus, they should ask question. Mm -hmm. No one can compete with me, nobody can argue with me. First of all, they should ask why the Brotherhood of Khalsa was created. First of all, that is the basic of the Brotherhood of Khalsa. Was it created to damage India? Was it to break up India? Was it to liberate Indians who were being oppressed and suppressed in the name of religion? That is number one. Number two, Guru Teg Bahadur was publicly beheaded in Delhi for Amritsar, Ludhiana, Jalandhar, or was he for uh, India? Guru Gobind Singh, where was he born? Was he born in Jalandhar? Was he born in Patna? Where did he left for his heavenly world? Did he live in J Patiala or did he live in Maharashtra? Who was Banda Bahadur? He was a Maharashtrian. Who was the Pali Pyare who made the Khalist uh, Sikh? So, and yes. Guru Nanak himself did not want a separate... No, uh, these guys are now tarnishing. I mm. cannot stand these people. They are ignorant people with little knowledge. They cannot see beyond a little bit of their own self-interest. But they are damaging the legacy of my illustrious Gurus who paid supreme sacrifice. Their children were bricked up alive for India, not for Jalandhar or Kapoor Sula. They, My Gurus stood for India they are celebrated by Indian government. No other religious leader is being celebrated on the scale the government of India is celebrating. They are now insulting our gurus and you have a right. You should not be letting those evil to flourish by doing something, nothing. Dekho, can a Khalistani give, promote the teaching of my gurus in word as the government of India is promoting? What are you after? Your own personal interest or the interest of our gurus? So I'm so sorry, I feel very strongly that these lackluster Sikhs with very little education, very little knowledge, not even a decent job to their credit. Mm. Yes, they are becoming a leader of a community. You know, they stand in short grass to look tall. <laughs> they do not have <laughs> the yeah. ability. I, I just come to Mr. Balbert, Mr. Tijin Singh, uh, just tell us what's happening in the U.S. We've seen the government of India just this year banning a Sikh organization the movement for uh, some kind of a referendum in 2020. How, the, how, how much uh, yeah, yeah, power let, do these groups in the, the U.S. have? Let's, let me just give you the, the picture out there. I won't glorify this organization by naming them, but they were banned. They have an address on their website. I went to that address. It is a law firm of, again, I won't name the person. And I have the pictures to show you. And then I come back. I'm a very active member of the National Press Club. Of uh, I was the chair of the Newsmakers Committee in 2010. I came to DC in 2009 from Brussels. 
So I'm a, you know, I'm an expert on European Union, Brussels, you know, like I've been to North Korea. So, mm -hmm. you, know, wow. you can see the, the coverage. So the, they, what they did, and I have asked IRS, the tax agency of the US, they have formed the same name with international added to it. And they have an address in the National Press Club building. Now, it's a very prestigious building to have an address and you pay a lot of money. And most of the media organizations have uh, offices there. The office is mostly closed. Anyway, I won't go into details. But that is one point on which government of India can go ahead and ask the US government that how the IRS has allowed because if there is a amazing, you know, like or a uh, Walmart, there are a lot of some, money bags behind them. And, like, is that what you're saying? I'll, I'll tell you, share about the money bags coming. If you see NDTV or your strategic uh, communications, it is. Uh, and tomorrow I launch and one international. That's not the way things work in the US. But it's you know, so I've asked the IRS, I've emailed them with all the documentary proof of what is going on, because I want to write a story. And I have requested the this organization heads to, 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 to give me an interview, to, to because I want to see what, what exactly you want. As mm -hmm. he was saying about the good, I, I come from a very devout family. My grandfather was in Vancouver, British Columbia. He wanted to take me from there, India, and ma he promised me I'll make you an MP. He had such a club, you know, Sikhs. Mm -hmm. My mother was a devout six. When I was in IIT Kharagpur, and I'm a dropout in the fourth year out of the five-year course. Yeah. So I'm infamously famous as a dropout. I was, then I went to get a degree from Osmania. In 84, when the rise, hmm. I was in an examination hall. I used to wear a full seven meter long turban with flowing beard. The army had to rescue me and I, you know, I was already a journalist. The Telegraph was being launched. And anyway, so where does this come from? I was born in Kharagpur, which is not in Punjab. And OK, let's talk about Khalistan. Let's talk, bring back the um, glory of Maharaja Ranjit Singh. I agree. Lahore, the capital, <laughs> till Afghanistan. <laughs> so how about that portion? <laughs> and and the money bags. There's a, one second. The money bag. There are two things that are happening. The real, the ordinary congregation, sangat in a gurdwara, they don't care. They, it is a very select people who are manipulating, who are you know doing all that in the name of religion. And the second is, just think about a failed lawyer now jetting around in business class. And then if you have a thousand people paying $30 each month, that's a bare minimum. I've got the document. You get $30,000 and, you know, you understand how the funding is going on. Just, just to switch topics, I, I know you have a point to make. Since he's talking about uh, money being given, here there's a lot of confusion. Uh, oh, oh, say for the first Jatha and maybe for the, uh, the centenary celebrations, there may not be any payment required to be given because they are con contradictory messages. Imran Khan is tweeting, the Prime Minister is tweeting that no passport required, no $20 required, no 10 days notice or so 5 days notice required. The army is saying something else. The ministry is saying something else. Now, finally, India has taken a position that since it's an agreement between two governments, you can't change a memorandum of understanding by a few tweets here and there unless something has changed on the ground. So we are going by what has been decided. That confusion, what does that reflect? in terms of Pakistan, when Pakistan is trying to project how quickly they've got this corridor up, uh, how much it means to them. But there's so much division within within that country itself, Mr. Paul. No, I think this was the right opportunity for Pakistan, Pakistani government, especially the 550th anniversary of Guru Nanak Dev Ji was coming. Yes, it was a very short time on both sides, uh, India and Pakistan. And I think the, both governments have done well. I was visiting Dera Baba Nanak two days ago with the Minister Sukhjinder Singh, uh, uh, Randhawa Saab. Uh, and uh, he gave me the tour. Amazing work, amazing work, you know, what uh, our side, this Indian side. Secondly, if you talk about those $20 fees, that, uh, we shouldn't make an issue out of it. You know. 
I mean, you, you go to any five thousand uh, every day. No, I mean we can cal calculate that oh, way. No. I mean, <laughs> of course, <laughs> they they have the investment there, and uh, uh, they are not forcing people to pay twenty dollars to come to their Fair country. Enough. Fair enough. And uh, Fair you enough. know, when I I brought my children to India, when we went to see the Taj Mahal, and they say for the Indians is a ten rupees, and for Canadians uh, national the passport holders is seven hundred eighty yeah. rupees. Your point taken. Point, uh, point, I mean, point is yeah. taken. Go, yeah. Government, yeah. 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 government yeah. can yeah. charge yeah. that. No, it's it's you not a controversy. Uh, it's a I, look. Um, uh, when I went to a um, park in uh, Orissa National Park, uh, you know, first they looked at me, and the moment they saw my wife, my ex-wife. Uh, they said, "Oh no, no! You have the, they started asking for the Come passports, on. and you know, like <laughs> yeah, you yeah, had to yeah. pay some uh, seventy they, times." They, they were, they, it's fine. The it's earlier fine. Uh, discussion, yes. you really wanted to make a point. I want to make this point. Uh, every time I come back to India, and uh, Khalistani question come every single time. But because we it's don't grown we, up. But it's still a very small problem Correct. up there. Very few, very few people they're causing all the trouble. But sometimes the media, hmm. we make it uh, More so huge. Bigger. Every time I get off the airport, somebody, every time, I, uh, same question is asked. Every time. But when I go back, I don't see nothing except a few odd people. Be, we know this. They're always looking for attention. They're always, they have their self-motive. Is in nothing. Considering <coughs> the amount of Sikhs in Canada, in the, and if you're talking in, about. In Punjabi, I mean, so Punjabi it is. add one thing. In, in, in Punjabi, those, it is called one thing. Those people his, who talk about Khalistan, they are insult to our gurus. Number one, our guru never took a British passport or American passport or a Canadian passport and then bad mouth Aurangzeb or Mughal Empire. They there, were was, in there was no passport those days. Yeah, <laughs> no, no. But they were not in Iran. Yeah, or, but guru Nanak or, or, traveled. So no, no. He traveled, was. but without Okay, his, so without these him. people who fancy of, uh, Khalistan, they should be here. They should fight among the people who they want to liberate. Number two. Number two, I just want to say one thing. Look, these Khalistanis are an insult to our gurus. Absolutely. They are trying to change their legacy with superimposing their own legacy. Mm. When a Sikh is seen at Delhi airport or in the British Indian Army, what will they think of that Sikh image? What are they doing to those Sikhs who do not have the luxury of American passport? They should be, they are disgraced to a community. They, I'm all right, Jack. I got few claps here and there, but they do not know the implication or repercussion for the Sikhs living in this country and outside India, India, because they, if they are true Sikhs, they will think, they were selfless Sikh, our gurus. Mm. They paid up supreme sacrifice, so the people like me can now sit as <laughs> liberated. Sure. But those are actually damaging the gurus, they damage the Sikh cause in a, you know, I'm so sorry. No, that that's are, the point you're repeatedly making. We, we understand the passion that you're, you're saying. There's one there point. That, what is the Punjabi one, saying before that, uh, that you were the, thought of? The, one sec, I, I missed now, I've forgotten. Okay. But there's one point which we haven't yet. Uh, yeah. The illegal migration and how the Khalistani movement is benefiting <coughs> from this. Uh, I was, uh, uh, we had a briefing in the White House from the Border Patrol and um, Chief. So, talking to the um, his sub, because I said I am. They said no, don't ask this question. Give us. They were surprised that uh, usually it's a, you know it's a Indians. There's ne now nearly half a million Indians who are illegal in uh, USA, and most of them are Sikhs. You must have seen videos of little kids, uh, and this got highlighted because of the death of that girl mm -hmm. in the. Now, w these people did not know that this one person is arrested and how this uh, lawyer attorney appears. What is the connection? How do they know that this person has been arrested? Who is provoking them to go on hunger strike? Who is asking them, oh, there we, we have a problem with the turban. We have a problem with this. Bullshit. Where, what, what is going on in India that you are running? What, what are you running from? Where is the... You know, you, I was born and brought up in Kharagpur. I have, you know, sure, seen all sure, over sure. India. I have, uh, I know in Canada. I, it's, it's a, I personally feel that Indian government has to crack down on this illegal immigration from here and do more to highlight that you don't need a political asylum anywhere in the world. It is all economy. Mm. 
But, but that, that, that's uh, another country is involved there, another country's laws. But overall, just to end this discussion for final comments, considering what's happening now in the larger picture, are you optimistic of uh, how this could be built upon or it, it is uh, because I have the, the view from out of the box from the say Washington, I was in Brussels. So, you know, the global thing, Pakistan will be continuously and President Trump is really livid about it. And he when he mentions, do you need my help in Kashmir? India just thinks that, oh, he's meddling. No, he's not meddling. He's offering because he sees that Pakistan is the one, the problem. It is a problem. Where was Osama found? Not in India, not in Jalandhar, not in Bengal, not in... Where, where was, was he Mullah found? Where was Mullah Mansoor killed? Uh, where yeah, were so many uh, Taliban and other you, you see, leaders killed? Yeah, sure. As um, our friend uh, pointed out that uh, when uh, Imran Khan went to the US, he admitted, I have 40,000, 50,000. So, Who had so there's a come and but, uh, the counter argument with that would be that then the US should be taking action in Pakistan, which they are not. But just to end this discussion, how optimistic are you that this will lead to a, a situation that could possibly get India and Pakistan back talking, or are these two separate? Let's, issues? let's be optimistic <laughs> and uh, let's hope for the best. Uh, we know there's, you know, I mean, all is not well across the border. And people will try everything to derail this uh, peace path. But uh, let's, we are celebrating Guru Nanak Sahib's 550th birthday. Absolutely. And with his blessing, let's hope people want that. Population for both countries <laughs> want that. And people, uh, six across the, uh, all over the world, they, they, they are looking forward uh, in a very optimistic way. M miracles do happen. Let's look at the glass half full <laughs> rather than half, half empty. empty. I'll give you uh, the final word. The final word is this, that this is a great guru. Some divine powers have in interfering in the affair of two countries. Mm -hmm. And I am very optimistic that if this opportunity is lost by Pakistan, it will be a huge loss for the Pakistani economy, whereas they can build on trade and tourism. They don't have to go to people for asking money. The historic places of Sikhs and Hindus are in Pakistan. The trade from India to Afghanistan can flow. There are so much, so many benefits pa uh, Pakistan can uh, 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 drive from having cordial relationship with India. And above all, they can reduce the size of their army which has already swallowed their old democratic institution. <laughs> You're saying it's a win-win situation, but it's not being played like that. Uh, opportunity, some may say that Pakistan is actually looking for nefariously in this case, not uh, positively. They have done that for last what? 72 yeah. years. I get point. What benefit, get what benefit <laughs> has come? I get you, your point. You cannot fight evil with evil. You have to really now be pragmatic. Yeah. We have tried 70 years. You've done it. Your economy is in tatter, yeah. your international image is in tatter, yeah. your, your yeah. people are suffering, the army... Whether they the country, look at themselves in the mirror and see the same thing, I'm not sure. But anyway, Mr. <laughs> Ranger, one, thank one, you so much. One last uh, sentence. Yeah. We have been talking about Guru Nanak, but I just remembered one. Nanak naam jahaj hai, chade so utare par. So Nanak <coughs> naam jahaj hai, so chade so utare par, doon side to. Either se bhi utar jayenge, udar, udar se bhi jayenge, global. Hmm. Excellent. Excellent. That's a very good Thank you. Thank, you. Thank you, Mr. Tinjan Singh. Thank you so much, Mr. Pal. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It was a pleasure. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thanks. Appreciate it.